Now, Fox News' Brittany Edney spoke one-on-one -on -one with Collins about his renewed call to Senate colleagues to support the measure. She joins us now from the live desk. Brittany? Russ, a group of senators are calling on the U.S. Judiciary Committee to take action on the Lake and Riley Act, which Georgia Representative Mike Collins says is about solid legislation, not politics. Nursing student Lake and Riley was killed while jogging on campus in February. Suspect Jose Ibarra, who law enforcement says crossed the border illegally, pled not guilty in court on Friday. Georgia Representative Mike Collins says Ibarra shouldn't have been on American soil in the first place. We've got criminal activity throughout this guy's entire history. Uh, as a matter of fact, when he came across the border, uh, they, they put him on parole. Instead of detaining him, they let him go. Uh, so those things alone uh, gave us great pause to see what was going on behind the scenes. Senate Bill 3933 would require federal immigration authorities to arrest and detain undocumented immigrants who have been arrested or convicted of theft or burglary. So that local law enforcement has the ability to contact ICE with these lesser criminal activities that are going on before they increase and become something major as what happened in Le with Lake and Riley. While critics have argued it could target undocumented immigrants, Collins has a firm response. Well, I mean, that's fine. It, it needs to. And so, you know, I, I don't care who it targets as long as it protects American citizens. Collins says he felt compelled to act as Riley's murder happened in his district and her family is in full support. They said, listen, if this will help keep any family, another family from going through this same tragedy, then, then please, by all means, put her name on it. We would love to have that. The Lake and Riley Act would also allow states to take civil action against federal officials who refuse to enforce immigration law. At the live desk, Brittany Edney, Fox 5 News.